Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers details about Avaya Aura Contact Center activity codes and will demonstrate how to add, modify, and delete activity codes in AACC. First, I'll go over a couple of slides about AACC activity codes and then I'll demo how to add, modify, and delete activity codes. An activity code is a number an agent can enter on their phone to track time spent in specific activities or when they are not available for contacts. Agents can enter up to three activity codes during one contact. If an agent does not enter an activity code, AACC uses the system default activity code. If an agent presses the activity code key twice during a contact but does not enter a number, AACC uses the skill set default activity code. There are four activity codes that are pre populated in AACC. They are highlighted on the slide. These four codes cannot be modified or deleted. An activity code has both a name and a separate display name that is used in AACC reports. Both name fields can be up to 30 characters in length. The dash and underscore are valid characters but other special characters, such as asterisk, should not be used in the name. The activity code number can be up to 32 digits in length. You can modify the activity code name and display name fields, but not the activity code number. To change the code number, you must delete the current entry and then create another activity code with the new number assignment. Lastly, you must be logged into the CCMA Launchpad web page as an administrator account in order to add, modify, or delete activity codes in AACC. For this demo, I am logged into a Lab AACC system with an administrator account. First, click on Configuration on the right side of the page. In the left pane, click the plus sign next to the server name where you want to configure activity codes. The CCMS server name for this system is AACC7 CoRes. In the expanded resource list, click the Activity Codes folder. The Activity Codes table will display. In the top four rows are the pre-populated default activity codes. These are grayed out to indicate they cannot be modified or deleted. Below these four are several rows of activity codes that have been added to this system already. You'll notice the number column is grayed out indicating that the number cannot be modified. Remember to change an activity code number, you have to delete the current entry and then re-add it with a new number. First, I will demo how to add a new activity code. Click in the name field in the bottom empty row next to the asterisk, then type the name for the new code. I'll use 99-cust space demo. When I started typing, the asterisk changed to a pencil symbol to indicate I am editing this row. 
Now either click in the number field or use the tab key to move to that field. I'll enter 99 for the activity code number and then I'll tab to the next field. I'll enter cust space demo for the display name. You'll notice there are not any buttons on this page, such as Save or Add. In order to save your configuration changes, you must click on a field in any other row in the table. I'll click a field in the empty row below the one I just entered. The table refreshed and an information message displayed at the bottom of the page stating 99-CUST demo updated successfully. So this activity code has been added to the system. Now I'll modify this activity code. Remember you cannot modify the number, only the name fields. The system will prevent any edits of the number field. I will update both the name and display name fields to customer demo from cust demo. Again, you must click a field in another row for the changes to be made in the system. This time I'll click a row above. The table refreshed and the updated successfully message displayed again. Now I'll show how to delete the activity code entry I just updated. First, click the box to the left of the name field for the row that you want to delete. The fields highlight and an arrow appears in the box indicating this row is selected. Now click the Delete key. A confirmation window will display asking if you are sure you want to delete this activity code. Click Yes to Delete or No to Abort. I will click Yes. Again, the table refreshed and the 99 customer demo activity code row has been removed. There is also an information message stating the activity code was deleted successfully. This concludes the video on how to add, modify, and delete AACC activity codes. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.